If I were a boy. Do you need my eyeballs over there? You okay? That was a good whistle. Did you hear that? I'm not a good whistler. You're alive, by the way. I'm really proud of those whistles. You're live on both Facebook and YouTube, and we didn't even need any help. Yeah, we did it, Brock. We're not up in the world. Good for us. Okay, it's still not showing up on my feed, though. Hold on, it's loading. Hold on. Waiting for me to come home. Is it showing up on yours? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look, that's me. Okay. Hello, everybody. Oh, Jenny's homesick. I'm sorry to hear that. Hello, Lisa. Hi, Molly. Welcome to our live short little paint along that we're doing. Okay, okay, I'll put that there if people have questions. So we're gonna wait a few minutes to let people join. We are loving the weather here in Missouri, right Brock? So nice, sweater weather. Sweater weather, 62 degrees. I got to put on this little number. It was my grandma's and I love it. So. I really like it. The crispiness of fall is coming in, I feel. Like crisp, like cold, crisp weather. You get it, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> uh. Okay. Should I explain what Let's Make Art Matter is? Yeah. Tell How long should we give? Viewers. Got 13 people with us on Facebook. Weather here is great too. Where are you from, Jenny? Let's see if she answers. Brock, we need to have some pump up music going, but it's too late. It's too late. It's fine. I'm about to start talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Dallas. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. I'm just going to start telling people what Let's Make Art Matter is. So if you are a subscriber to our subscription box, every month you get the kits, you get the paint, but then we also send you a postcard like so, and it has a little card of information about the person we're sending the postcard to. And it's pre-stamped and it's pre-addressed and the whole point is for us just to paint something and maybe write a few words of encouragement and send that to somebody who, um, you know, just needs a little extra love. So this month, it's the very end of September and I know some of you have already done the cards for Angela and Matthew, but in case you haven't, that is what we're doing right now. So this is part of our September box postcard. And uh, we just write, we just paint a little picture for them, we drop it in the mail, and then they get these hand painted cards from you know a bunch of them just to make their day better. And the whole idea is just for us to kind of um, create a community, a supportive community around people who um, just need a, need a little extra love and support. It's literally my favorite part of the box. So if you're going to paint with us at all or do anything, I hope you do the postcard. And if you 
aren't a subscriber, you can still absolutely do this. We sell packets of postcards on our website. You can just buy a pack and um, just every month, rip one out, paint one, we'll tell them their address, all that stuff. Does that make sense, Brock, you're following along? Yeah, that sounds great. That sounds really <laughs> yeah, nice. it's nice, it's my favorite thing about it. So, today, uh, we are going to paint this cute little orange to send. Now, um, I believe that Angela and Matthew were nominated by their cousin Chelsea, and I kind of asked her what we should paint for them, and she said that Matthew sometimes has a hard time seeing. So, like anything like big and bold and colorful uh, would be great. So I thought like if we did a nice big orange in the middle, that'd be a fun thing. But remember, you can paint whatever you want. Um, you can, you know, and actually she posted a picture, if you follow our Let's Make Art Together Facebook group, she posted a pictures of the postcards she sent, she received so far, and we'll share that today in case you guys missed it, but it was awesome. She just had this pile and they were just all these different illustrations and paintings and so many things. So um, yeah, you can paint whatever you want, but today we're painting an orange in case um, you haven't painted yet or you're not sure what you want to paint. So to start, I'm just going to use uh, three of the colors out of the box, which is Tahoe Blue, Dandelion Yellow, and Magenta. Should we get going? I'm gonna start. The card for Sarah. R Roberta asked, is the card for Sarah? So this card is for Angela and Matthew. It's part of the September box, so we're not doing the October postcard yet. Sarah's postcard is for October. I know it's confusing because my name is Sarah, but our recipient for the Make Art Matter for uh, October is also named Sarah. So we're not doing hers just yet. Okay? <laughs> Brock, are we doing okay? Oh, no, you're doing, you're okay, doing great. I just feel like I'm like, <sighs> okay, let's start, let's start. Let's just calm down and paint a picture. So I'm gonna do the leaves first. And so to mix green, since we don't have green, I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow and a little bit of blue. Now I'm getting this great green color. And I'm gonna start with my a big leaf first. So I'm gonna just use a round six for like this whole thing. And I'm just gonna do a big leaf kind of in the middle. And then I always like to drop in a little extra drops of color or water just to get some interesting textures going on. And then we're gonna do another tiny little leaf right behind it. So kind of right next to it, kind of coming from the sta same stem. Just like that. And remember with watercolor, you can lift it up. So I thought that my leaf was a little bit dark. So I just took my damp brush and I literally just lifted up the color while it was still wet. And then I dried it on my paper towel. So I know that some people think that because these are dye-based um, watercolors that you can't lift and you can absolutely lift colors up as long as they're still wet and haven't dried over a long amount of time. Okay, next we're gonna do our orange. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of magenta, pull it over and some yellow. Get this great orange color. So I'm gonna start by kind of outlining my orange. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it in water first. So just using water, I'm gonna create a circle. That's gonna be my orange shape. So I'm just kind of freehanding it, which you guys can do. I know it sounds scary, but you can totally do it. And then I'm gonna fill it in, but I'm gonna leave the left hand corner or the left hand side, like right here, I'm gonna leave that white. I'm not gonna fill that in with water yet because that's gonna be the highlight on our orange. So we wanna leave that a light color if we can. And then I'm gonna drop in the orange color. And it's just gonna kind of start spreading everywhere. And I think I'm gonna put a little bit more yellow on here because I mixed it with my blue too much. And with oranges, or really with any fruit, I like to um, do like strong, even though an orange is orange, uh, I like to do drops of just yellow in there too, because you just get this really vibrant color. 
a hint of a strong color. And when you do your orange, you want to make sure that there is uh, a value change to create form. So we want the bottom part of our orange, if you're looking at our reference, see how this part is a darker value? And then as it goes up, we have a highlight right here. That's what we're trying to do. So you want to have strong, kind of concentrated color at the bottom. And then when you get to the top, I'm just going to use water to spread this color out. Now be careful when hitting the leaves because we don't want, we, it's okay if the green bleeds a little bit, but we don't want it to bleed too much. And then if we want a brown here at the bottom to create a stronger shadow with the orange, to make brown we just kind of mix complementary colors. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of my magenta and green that I mix for my leaf and you kind of mix that together, you're gonna to get like an or like a brown, like a muddy color pretty much. Yes, Brock. Uh, this is my own question. Yeah. How do you know which colors are complementary? So, uh, if you look, if you think of the six colors, there are three primary colors. Excellent question, Brock. <laughs> which colors are complementary? So there are six colors, right? We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Now the primary colors are every other one, so red, yellow, and blue. Those are our primary colors. Our secondary colors are orange, green, and purple. And if you think of the color wheel in a circle, it's whatever is across from the color wheel. So red and green are complementary colors. Uh, orange and blue are complementary colors. And purple and yellow are complementary colors. So it's the primary color with the secondary color that it's across from on the color wheel. And that'll make a good brown. And if you mix those, you can get a nice muddy, you can even almost sometimes get black if you mix enough. Like those are, and when you paint, um, it's really great to know color theory and what colors are complementary and work together because you can kind of shift the colors of things as you need to while you're painting if you have that knowledge. So I don't need brown because I know that if I mix a little bit of my magenta with my green, I'm gonna get a muddy color. And then I can just put that in the bottom part of my orange. And then I'm gonna add some more orange to it so it's not like a brown spot, right? We kinda of wanna blend, blend it out a little bit so it's not like, like a bad orange, you know? Like a moldy orange. <laughs> we want it to seem a little bit more natural. But still kinda of leave this top left area alone because that's our highlight on our orange. If I, didn't have this value change on my orange, my orange would look totally flat, and I can show you that right here. So if I just took orange and did a circle like this, and that's it, that looks totally flat, but just because we have a highlight at the top and a shadow at the bottom, we now have a sphere, an actual form. So this is it for my actual orange and now I'm going to do the background and the background is just this little uh, a little bit of Tahoe mixed with a tiny 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 bit of yellow so it kind of has like a turquoisey look right it has that um, a, just a touch and a lot of water because we just want it to be nice and light and I'm just going to similar to what we did with the pineapple I'm just doing a soft little color behind it, avoiding the orange itself because my orange is still wet and I don't want that to bleed everywhere. And you just kind of go across. Avoiding the leaves, spread out that color. And if you have enough yellow, you could totally do, I mean, you can paint whatever you want on here. I thought a lemon might be fun, but I don't know. I just really like oranges. 
Okay, so I have my background, and then I'm gonna do one more little thing to my leaf to kind of create differentiation between these two leaves because they kind of bled together. I'm just gonna go over this leaf one more time so it's nice and dark and there's a stronger line between the two. And I'm gonna drop a little dark orange where those leaves are meeting, the orange. Okay, this is, that's it, you guys did it, good job. So just to kind of recap what we're doing here, um, every month in the subscription box, we pick an individual or a family or just somebody who just needs a little extra love and support and we all paint them a postcard. If you get the subscription, it comes in pre-stamped and pre-addressed, so all you have to do is paint it and then drop it in the mail. Um, just to make their day a little bit brighter. And if you have someone that you would like to nominate for Let's Make Art Matter, you can absolutely do that. We have a form on our website. Just go to letsmakeart.com, and if you scroll down on our homepage a little bit, there is a section called Let's Make Art Matter. Click on that, and then on the top, there's gonna be a nomination form. You just fill that out, send that to us, and that's what we pick from when we choose every single month. And I actually just wanted to read Angela already got some of the postcards because we've been people have been sending them all month, and I just wanted to read what she said. She said, um, thank you to all of you for sending us the beautiful cards. They have been such a huge blessing and encouragement to our family. Our son Matthew was diagnosed with a life-limiting condition at four months old. He is now five and a half years old. The journey of special needs is filled with many peaks and valleys. Thank you for being a bright light in the midst of hardship. Keep up the good work. Just so, isn't that great? <laughs> so the whole point of this is just for us to recognize that everybody has highs and lows and everybody sometimes just needs a little extra support. And I'm hoping that as such a supportive community, we can rally behind people, give them comfort, give them love, even though we don't know them and know that we're thinking about them. So if you have someone in mind that you think would be a great person to nominate, please nominate them and please do this postcard. This is also a great family activity. I like to do this with my girls because it's just teaching them about service and thinking about other people. So thank you so much for painting this with me. Um, if you do paint a postcard, go ahead and hashtag it um, LMA Matter or should we do Let's Make Art Matter? Let's do hashtag Let's Make Art Matter. That I just decided that right now. <laughs> So share it, um, and I hope that you do this and take part in our community of just trying to brighten people's day. That's it. Bye.